There is so much more to learn about gradients and gradient fields, but for now, we're really only going to use gradients when we're solving explicitly geometric problems. The things you need to remember most about gradients are the following, that gradients are connected to derivatives of a scalar-valued function. The lengths of the gradient vectors indicate rates of change, and the directions indicate those of steepest increase of the function value. Oh, it's bonus time right now. Gradients are used extensively in machine learning. We've already talked about level sets, separating out data sets, but in machine learning, reinforcement learning, neural networks in particular, one tries to improve performance by adjusting the algorithms based on a cost function. This cost function is a scalar-valued function on a very high-dimensional space of coefficients for how the network is weighted. And if you can approximate the gradient of this cost function, it gives the direction of maximal improvement of the algorithm. So you just follow that direction and then iterate, keep going, if you compute the gradients. And that's not so easy, as you'll find out in the future when you learn more about calculus associated to fields. Because the gradient is really a vector field, and this is really the derivative of a scalar field. How do you integrate vector fields? What happens when you integrate a derivative? How does this connect to the core truths of calculus? Someday, someday, you will know.